Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be heading into a new map in the Thaumaturge. I think this is the last map that we haven't gone to previously. We're going to go, whatever this says, we're going to go up to Rosichsky Bazaar and have a look around here. We've got a few things to tick off in our um, journal. A few little rats scuttering around there. Um, but yeah, quite a few things have kind of been pointing the way here, including having our next chat uh, with Upir, which we may as well do now, seeing as he's right here. Why not? Let's see where he wants us to go. Not up there. Down here. The plan is simple. Bashka has a stand around the corner where she sells moonshine. You've got the money. I've got the will. Everything fits. The evening is set. You're a real strategist, brother. <laughs> Little mischief maker of Ritzy. Here. Looks like it. What's this? I don't think it's down that way. Then the bald guy looks to his left, looks to his right, and pooh smacks the cop right in the face. <laughs> Calm down, don't go hitting me now. Has anyone ever told you that you get overly excited about certain things? Hmm. Yep. Promising. Mm, nope. Nope. <laughs> yes, we're going this way. Name Shulski. From those Shulskis? Well, well, your daddy will be happy. Just like my daddy when he hears that I've been leading little Victor down the wrong path again. Shut your mouth, punk, or my deputy will put a precautionary bullet in your right butt cheek. Okay, there we go in the right way. Opia? A Boris who wanted to show me his father's store. He picked a bad moment. I didn't need thaumaturgy to feel his shame at that moment. We can go. Now I'm ashamed of what I felt back then. I felt superior. Yikes. Pride. His floor. Is that where it came from? Maybe. Stuck in the mud, but we're okay now. Okay, so let's have a little look at the things we're going to do here. Uh, not yet. That's in Mirov. Um, I think we've done... Ah, okay, it's actually kind of listing the stuff there. When we're... Maybe we could have a look at that. <clears throat> Warsaw, in my memory, is the day when Miesko Sechemin, or I think it's Sesimian, a Pavishla loan shark died. I can still see him in my nightmares. Maybe a trip to Pavishla will finally set my dreams at rest. Seventh birthday, Ligia's and mine. A sunny, carefree afternoon in the unexpected sight of Upir's bare skull. That was when I saw him for the first time. I didn't think it would ever leave me. When I was ten, I learned a valuable lesson. People don't respect those who can read their secrets from objects and through perception. I once taught Ligia in starting a quarrel with father to avoid a family trip to the seaside. Stanislav was furious, and I wondered afterward if it was manipulation or the power of the twin bond. Upir has gone silent. I must wait. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. On my 14th birthday, my mother gave me a grimoire. I made a pact with Upir. Then I was proud, but my father didn't think I was ready. Maybe he was right. When I was 15, Obritzi's father got into financial trouble. I wanted to help my friend at any cost. Was it too high? Hmm. So we've got a viewpoint. We have... This is the Gossini Bazaar. Um... Is that it? I thought we had more stuff to do here. Oh well. I'll take that for now. But I think we'll probably um, just explore, right? I mean, what we got here? At Burkorod Blitzes. Point of interest. Point of interest. Locked. Point of interest. Locked, 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 locked. Well, let's have a look at what this is first. This Rock Blitzes thing before we move on. Hello. Got something here. Letter, dear Yad 
Yad Vissia. You ask me how I find living with my auntie and uncle. Well, I enjoy a great many comforts here, and in this respect it is a change for the better. Recently, however, I have observed that some of my uncle's strange habits are... I've observed what some of my uncle's strange habits are. You've probably heard of him. His name is Adam... It's like a, a WV type of sound, I think, this L with a little line through it. Uh, like... Bowishski? Bowishski? He has one room next to his bedroom that he doesn't allow anyone to enter. He often carries large packages there. When I ask my aunt about this, she replies that he has a collection of insects that he takes great care of. However, I do not believe it. Who would want to collect insects and guard access to them with such fervour? Be sure to visit me, because we need to solve this puzzle together. Anna. Mm -mm. Got a clue. Secret library. Uh, don't, no idea what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a tavern. You know, what's this? Order a beer? Why not? Midas is golden touch. Everything here is oozing with the precious hop liquid. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Very nice. Uh, Yannick. Can't go in his back room. Probably we'll just have a chat with Yannick, see what he says. All right, Victor, if you won't do it over the bar, we'll come around this way. Oh, there's a kitty. Is that cat and staff too? You bet. He stirs the beer with his tail. What can I get you? I don't know why we know about a donut thing, but we can ask about the cat What's first. What's his name? Van Kratzen. I found him on the trash heap, and he sort of made himself at home here. Well fed, well groomed. The happiest cat in the neighborhood. You think? Thanks. I feed him liver. I think he likes it. He always wants more. Ask for a donut? Yes, one donut, please. Even if I had any, I wouldn't recommend them. But I heard I was supposed to order a donut. Oh, is this a main quest thing? Is this yeah. going to be making touch with the resistance? Oh yeah, I've accidentally started the main quest. She's the it's one from right, the train Yannick. station. I know him. I was hoping we'd run into each other again, and here you are. Can we speak in private? Come on. Oh no. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't intend to start the main quest. I'm worried I'm going to time out on some of these quests. Oh. Don't move a muscle. Uh, let's do a proud answer. I've got deja vu. Silence. Michal, this is Victor. It looks like I owe you a debt of gratitude. Lower the gun and we can call it quits. You can leave us. Come, Victor. Tell me what brings you here. I'm going to leave. I'll be off now. <laughs> Bye. Bad. Stay out of trouble, wizard. I don't want to advance things to a point where all my like timed quests are going to run out. Um, so I'm not going to engage with any of this stuff yet. We'll do this. We'll do this shortly. Hmm, that was interesting. Nice to see her again. Probably nothing relevant though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll do that when we've when we've got a bit more of the uh, optional stuff ticked off, I think. Dear Mr. Julius, you made me very uncomfortable at the last ball. Mrs. Yadviger not only comes from a barely respectable family, but she's not even pretty. I really don't understand why you were so fixated on her during all the fast dances, while I stood on the sidelines and wasted my time in idle conversations with boring aunts. You would like to see me again. Agreed, but on one condition. As a token of your devotion and assurance of kindness, I will accept a gift. At Mr. Mikurchevsky's on Brokova Street, you can purchase a gift that will put me in a better mood. Please do not bother showing up without that gift, Mariana. Hmm. Up here with a viewpoint marker. Uh, no idea where that is. Oh, it's the hospital. Okay, we know where that is. So, yes, we maybe just 
Maybe just head down the main street first of all. Oh yeah, we can't get in there. Another one of these. Uh, not sh I think, was that the building we were just out front of? Nuzik Synagogue. Where is that? Mirov. Okay. Yeah, it's not here. This is something. What's this? Ah, oh, bizarre. I guess that was uh, it's a quest. Siphons around here somewhere as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's something here. What have we got? Postcard, dear auntie, I'm very happy that you are coming. I have to tell you something. The apartment at my brother's house is the happiest place under the sun. I found new friends there. You should definitely have to see it. Antosh. Uh, don't know where that is. Huh? Look at the map, where are we? Okay, yeah, we'll do a little, uh, little lap around this square then. See what we've got down here. Waiting bench. Oh, got something here. Tattered book. The Kings of Poland is an old, beautifully illustrated book that's forbidden in the Russian partition. Stuck to an illustration is a thought filled with longing and grief over what has been lost. The pride and splendour of the old Poland, bathed in crimson and gold, falling on the shoulders of monarchs. Okay, it's the end of that map. So I think, oh, there's a point of interest over there. So I guess we just cross over the road. It's another postcard type thing. Photograph. Uh, that is possibly Povishla. Or Praga, okay. And we've got another little doodad here. Patriotic brochure sent. Rare book lovers club held by A. Bovushki. I think that's the, is that the name we saw previously? It invites everyone to meetings in Targova Street. Okay. Ooh, this is probably the siphon. Yeah, looks like it, isn't it? <laughs> okay. We do, we can have some soda. A man is walking up to the stall and feels like getting some soda just to express his appreciation for the creativity of this structure's designers. Hm. Yep. So, um, Mirov, Braga, Rod, ah, yeah, we should do that. We've got two two little leads to follow. We'll do that while we're kind of doing a loop around this area. See what else we can find. Just seeing, yeah, we're kind of just in the bazaar now, so we'll we'll just go around and see everything we can see. Hanging as we walk. Hanging if we get anything. These show us two locked doors on the map, I think, so maybe we'll be able to do something in there later. Right, so. I probably should head down here first and kind of do like a little zigzag pattern. Try and just hit everything. Waiting bench. Yeah, I should go down here. What have we got here? Book at a stall, The Drowning of Marzana. Uh, I'm not going to look at that. Uh, same book, I think. Read poetry. 
Our time spur creativity. Never before have poets constructed such intricate metaphors to outwit senses, making them feel like they're moving in a thick fog. Oh, no, there is something around. Oh, I think it's over here. Milk chocolate bar, sweet and perfect for any occasion. A refreshing scent of excitement cuts through the aroma of chocolate. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate with nuts, all in beautiful shades of brown and beige, complete with subtle carmines of raisins and raspberries. The colours might be associated with the earth, but they definitely taste of luxury. I don't stare. Surprised we haven't had a fight yet. People seem pretty ready to punch Victor's lights out at the drop of a hat. I don't necessarily blame them. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, there is something over here. Lost parcel. Well, well. The parcel is wrapped in grey paper, through which you can feel the embossed spine in hardcover. The parcel is addressed to Adam Bowishki. The courier must have lost it. It might be worth returning it to the addressee. Uh, book Clubbers Club as a front. He imports and reads works banned by Russian, Russian censorship. Ah, what time of day do we go and see him? It might say on the... Uh... Unknown. What time of day is it at the moment? It's noon. Could be a good time to catch someone at home. I guess we should see. Ooh, there's something up here now. Warsaw Courier. Pedigree dogs. English Spaniels. Puppies by parents awarded at Polish and foreign shows. Inquire at the following address. Nothing and that can feeds be into the other one. Me. Mr. Mikuszewski, who lives in Burkova Street, runs a kennel of pedigree, pedigree dogs. He recently had a litter of new puppies, which are very eager to play and be petted. Well, we'll be going there. 100%. Who wouldn't want to go and see some puppies? Right, let's see where this takes me. Ah to the bench. Alright, what about the puppies? Aha, we might be able to do that now. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Secrets. Not on Ragdoll. The needle pierced the thick fabric with resolve and precision. The little seamstress stopped crying. She might not be able to afford a doll, but she would prove she could make something out of cheap cloth that everyone would envy her for. The Rosic Gentry. This outfit is the epitome of Polishness. Boring on the outside, it holds the burning heart of the nation within. Cheap yet sturdy fabrics in the hands of a crafty tailor will gain class, and unobtrusive shades of brown will make a great backdrop for the centerpiece of the whole look. The vest dripping with gold and crimson. This isn't an outfit, it's a manifesto. I'm not sure what that relates to. Anyway, time to go see some puppies. There's a door over here, I think, is it? E it was a real catharsis. For those several minutes, I actually believe the world was good and beautiful. Victor got to play with some puppies. Oh, look at those. Aww. Nice. Okay. Game of the year. Right. Uh, we'll probably have to wait for this. Well, do we have to wait for it? Yes. What time of day is at the moment? It's late afternoon. Actually, well, that might just be the other bench. Let's try. It's late afternoon. We could try. Uh, what is that? I guess we try. We could try night. So it's noon and afternoon. It's kill not. sometime. Okay. Yeah, we're off now. Oh, we're just over here. That's cool. An eccentric old gentleman in his racks filled with foreign books. It's hard to believe he could commit a crime that the Okrana would send him to Siberia for. Okay. 
Let's have a look. So, I wonder if there's any Taylor's inspiration on this map. There may be. I definitely want to go and give him the magazine I've already got. Uh, but if, I, I mean, I'm assuming there's others, so. Ooh, okay, that's saying to go there. And this one is saying. There's a crook over there. Maybe we should. Hang on, this might be the thing I need. Huzzah! Le mode parisienne. Is this just going to go to the. Looks like it. Okay, so let's go and talk to that crook before we go anywhere else. Anyone can win today. Try your luck and play. Don't give up, ma'am. You'll get lucky this time. And you, sir? How can I help you? What's the game? Good, sir. Let me explain. Three cups, one shell. To find it is to win. Simple enough, right? Except I've lost three times already. I'd love to play. Who knows, maybe I'll have more luck. You have to wait, I'm afraid. It's the lady's turn. Thank you, sad man. Fortune favors the brave. All right, let's do it. Come back later, sir. I'll play. And if you cheat, I'll know. Mm. Why don't you go, ma'am? This isn't your lucky day. And now we'll have a talk with you, smart Alec. We'll teach you not to harass hard-working fiddlers. Get him! Oh, they got someone else. Wangler, passerby, crook. Okay. Uh, what have we got? So we got uh, Upero Jin, Bukovac, Lalak Omorana. Well, I might start with this one because Morana can do her big finisher then, can't she? So, okay. So I start with uh, Lelek because he's quite good at getting a couple of focus off quickly. We'll do that one, so he might be able to cancel the action. Uh, I'll join in with one as well. Oh uh, yeah, we can get rid of all his focus, and then after Lelek's gone, uh, we'll get Morana to finish him off. Enemy reinforcements are on the way, that's interesting. Um, okay, so we want... Marana. Our attacks were pretty quick, so that's good. Meanwhile, we got uh, damage. Mm. He's a book of arch. Maybe we could go in with some suffering on him. Wow. Unk. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get a book of Utch in here. So, yeah, let's stack on the suffering. That's 12. He still needs a little tap to uh, get rid of him. And then we've got this guy who also has suffering on Upper or Jin. I haven't used Jin for a while. What can we use Jin for, maybe? Um, yeah, I might put this on. Delayed, uh, delayed damage. So yeah, so he's going to take a fair bit of damage, uh, 16 plus the suffering, um, he just needs a little tap really and then he should die. Um, sure, give me healing, why not? Snap. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, okay. The reinforcements are in. Three of this quick fire combo. We need to get Velas to disable this thing first. Makes you immune to gaining. Yeah, okay. Velas might not be able to attack quick enough, is the only thing. He is pretty quick though. Actually, yeah, that's good. Um, I'm not sure how much damage that will do, but we could see. Quick 11 damage, not bad. So. He's just he's just taking damage. If I come in with this, I mean he'll he'll go down. And then this guy is Lela Cormorana, so we could uh, yeah we could try that combo again. I don't have any negative states, but we might be able to interrupt his uh, turn. Not in suffering is the only thing. Oh well, it still gets rid of a couple of focus, and that's probably the main thing. Oof. Okay, um... I mean... It's a big attack, honestly. I think we'll just do that, and then maybe... Um, who's pretty good at just doing direct damage? I won't have much left. Maybe we could try to combine this with the healing thing? didn't kill him, interestingly. Uh, this probably will, 50% chance, uh, and we can just finish off with uh, Velez if not. Yep. <laughs> I guess what I want to know is, uh, will this highlight on the map where there might be other magazines to find for the tailor? Yes, he is in northern Sremisia. Uh, near our house, so if we go here, it might lead us to another magazine. Right. So this should mean we've got three new outfits to choose from, which I'd quite like to maybe freshen up the look a little bit. I might even go back to the barber and um, change up that look a little bit as well. The fashion review! Very nice. Okay. Let's find some inspiration for our tailor friend. It's possible that'll be everything now. Might be. I guess we'll find out. Yes, that's where we want to go. So I think there might be four slots left, but I think one of the slots might be reserved for the DLC. Well, not DLC, the um, Collector's Edition uh, bonus. It was a, there was a, I think there was a special haircut, moustache style, and a special outfit in the uh, Collector's Edition. Where's it taking me? He's down there. Here he is. Yeah, so this might finish off this little side objective. Possibly. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at. About the collection, we need bulk. Meanwhile, I won't. All right, well, we got a few, but um, All right. I think there must still be more outstanding. Let's have a look what we got, though.
Okay, yeah, there's probably a couple more then, and then the uh, collector's edition stuff. So we've got one here. Shades of Grandiosity, Pragmatic Smoothness, and the Waistcoat. It's alright, it's not too bad. It's quite similar to what we were wearing anyway. Ooh. Yes, I quite like that actually. This sort of asymmetrical waistcoat's pretty nice. And the black and gold. This is La Fierte, Haughty Pair, and Contemptuous Chic. Right, we're going to go around in this. And I might go back to the barber in. Hmm. Fort Praga? Can't remember where the other one was. Okay, where do we want to go now? Uh. Praga. Praga. Mirov, Port Praga, Mirov. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly rattle off these uh, viewpoints, I think. Carriage is quite close. A couple of things to do in Mirov, I think. You want to go to Praga and Port Praga and Mirov, maybe. And the hospital is just down this road, isn't it? So. Interestingly, in the two maps we've been to, this one and the uh, bizarre one, we haven't um, found any more salutals, which makes me wonder if they're linked to the main story now, the two remaining ones. It is possible. It's done. Let's head to Port Braga. Mirov. And that's Gashini. Well, they're okay, so they're yeah, they're both Mirov. Let's do Port Praga first. And then we'll do the two ones in Mirov. Still need to go through my combat bonuses at some point and try and get them optimized, but I mean it's not like we're not winning fights fairly comfortably. There was that Morana fight. I think I won when I was on 1 HP, but apart from that, they've not been too bad. But we are going to have to fight like the Golem, I think, and other stuff that could be quite nasty. So it might make sense to do that at some point. Maybe after I've recorded this episode, I might just stop and do that. Poster. Guest performances by the audience's favourite comedian, Alexander Kirchner, The Dive Bar. Okay, it's another side quest. To be fair, we didn't re we didn't really explore Port Praga before. I might nip into the barber though. There are a couple of points of interest. I can't remember if this is the barber I've already been to. Um, it's possibly not. Yeah, it's not. I went to one in maybe Mirov. There might be some new hairstyles here. That's quite a shambles on your mug there. Who bought it up like that? Place yourself in head my head. hands and we'll make it prime in no time. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Soon the fancy boy will be set for philandering. You know me so well. Stay still once I start working my shank. If you trash like a fish, you'll mark my floor up. I see. We don't want to reenact the Fleet Street scenario here. <laughs> Sweeney Todd. Okay, so we've got a couple of different styles then. Severe Squall. Ooh. I don't mind that. It's a bit um, Byronic, isn't it? Or go bald. Bald and clean shaven. What about that? <laughs> or we could have the... Ooh. Look a bit Rasputin-y. That, that's a pretty wild look, isn't it? Swept back lion's mane. I quite like that. I quite like it with that beard as well. Or do we go completely clean-shaven? That is... That is quite extreme. The Lex Luthor look. This is the supervillain look. <laughs> no, I like this. I like the sort of... Yeah. I quite like it with that beard, but we did have that beard before, so I'm going to go for the... The ducktail beard. An elaborate shape usually chosen by most particular customers. I do like that one, though. 
mean, I quite like our original one. I think they go together quite well. But we're here to try new things, so let's do that. The way I say it, oh, wow, look at this. It's pretty swell, isn't it? Look at... Yeah. It's... It's something. Uh, it's great. It does look swell. <laughs> so, tell anyone you want that you are not getting a bot job here. I was quite tempted by the bald look, but, uh... Yeah, he's, he's sort of got more of a wizard look now, I think. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, hello, there is stuff to do here. Fly magazine, Pulse of the City. La 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 la. Don't know, I'm not going to read it. But there might be there's something else in here, I think. Jar of Shells. As one's gaze rests on the shells, thoughts drift towards the clear ocean waters sparkling with different shades of turquoise. At least that's what one's imagination shows, because one's feet have never stepped outside Warsaw. Uh, yeah, so maybe we kind of don't want to do like a little sort of outskirts lap. Letter. Dear Lisa, thank you. I am in good health. This is mainly due to the new treatment that you recommended to me. Did you know that this week the owner of the store will hold tastings of your favourite beverage every morning? The aroma is indeed one of a kind, and most importantly it has made my headaches less frequent. Come and see me in the afternoon and I will show you the new lace ordered from Paris. Kisses, Marcelina. Note with an advertisement. It's a room to let... Eating bench. There is something up here, though. Yeah. Bukrana informants report. Alexander Kirchner. I've been told that the that he holds secret soirees and makes fun of the Tsar. I've lost sight of him yesterday near Port Praga. I have to go back there today. I'd also like to take this opportunity to remind you about the promised reward: new leather shoes. Mm. Indian spices. Breathe in. Ah, go back to the colourful streets of Bombay with a breathtaking variety of sari patterns. Breathe out. Here it's just grey, nothing but shades of grey. Breathe in. I will go back there before I die. There will be beauty in my life again. I don't know if that's him talking or just the memories of whoever was handling those uh, spices. Not sure. Okay, so we've gone around there. We haven't gone up there though. Maybe I'll come up this little boardwalk area first. Yeah, I think I'm going to come up that little middle path and just see if there was anything down it. Okay, okay, just straight over the railway tracks then there is a point of interest. Tasting an orange that still smells of the sun in the fish stinking port Praga is a truly grotesque experience. What's this? Rest list of uh, groceries. Nothing can be kept secret from Oriental me. rug. The delicate embroidery on the rug is interlaced with threads of great aggravation and anger. To tread on silk? That's an outrage. What else will these slobs come up with to feed their bloated egos? These days, you don't have to physically cross borders to cross them. The right outfit can take a modern man to any place he wants. Turquoise will give any face a hint of travel nostalgia. Oriental embroidery and precious silks will accent your individualism. Gentlemen, we're here. Sure, that's probably tied in with one of the side quests. I'm not sure.
Is this the uh, overlook we're looking for? Probably. Looks like it. Oh, it's another clothing thing. Fine. I mean, it's good. I, I do quite like the outfit I've got on at the moment, though. There's another one somewhere. Hello. So, yeah, so there's a, there is a point of interest down here. Let's do like a little uh, lap around here. See what we can see. Oop. Fair enough. Sturgeon in the Polish cause. Right. <laughs> Circle of life and death. I cast my hook today, only to be hooked tomorrow myself. Okay, so what have we got going on? Um, this is in Port Praga. We might carry on with that. Also this. Mirov, Mirov, Port Praga. We've got a few things here then. Let's uh, let's let's follow let's follow the clues. Ooh. Got a permit? What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. I don't know about this beard. I might change it up. Uh, ah, fine. I want to get on with other stuff. Since you stock and care for the river, you deserve it. Here, five rubles. Thank you. Go ahead then. And remember, you're gonna hook a fish to cook a fish. See ya. We can't beat up everyone we come across. Surely. I think that's the dock that got destroyed up there, isn't it? We still didn't see Svetlana die, so I'm 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 wondering if she might come back into it at some point or or what. I'm not, I'm not convinced that she's gone. Because the boat she was on was pulling away from the uh the dock, wasn't it? As a victim might just be saying that to people to kind of get her off, get them off her trail, maybe. I don't know. Is possible. All right, we're following the clues at the moment, so let's do that. Something here. Fireworks advert. Okay. Oh, there's another quest. All going on in Port Praga. There's something here. Plate. Heinrich Rhino, importer of goods. Warehouse number four. Advertisement. Warehouse number two. Merchandise from Brazil. Okay. Cola beverage. Well, well. Or sticker. American delicacy. Heinrich Reiner, a well-known connoisseur of foreign delicacies, keeps his products in warehouse number four. Among the goods he imports is the beverage known as cola, and he is happy to offer tasting samples to interested parties. Hmm. Maybe. What time of day do we go there? I look around. Over, uh, it might be open. I can have a look. Ah, it is. Okay. Let's go do that. Interesting aftertaste accompanied by slight stimulation. Reiner feels that this beverage has quite the sales potential. I don't see it catching on, to be quite honest. Dead ender, probably. 
she had a Diet Coke with my lunch today. <laughs> right, um... Did we not do that then? We did it. Maybe it's a different thing. Uh, I kind of did want to head down into these bits though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep wandering around there. I think. Just a reflection in the water. Is that someone I beat up? It might be. He's been knocked out for a long time. If it is, uh, yeah, I think I think that probably is a fight I had. Maybe when I was coming out of the uh, the dock after it collapsed. So this is a bit of a dead end, that's fine. Turning to the scene of the crime. Right, okay, well, I think I've more or less gone everywhere in the map at least. Is this the bit that collapsed? I think it is actually. Definitely is. This is where the golem chased me to. Okay. I was thinking I could get up there, but I think it's blocked off by all this stuff. Follow the trail of flavorful mystery. I think in terms of the beard, I might go back to the... When I go to Mirov, I might pop into the uh, barber there again. So I'm not sure I like this one. Um, but I quite like the haircut. Quite thaumaturgical, I think. There we're going. Notes for a servant girl. Aniela, don't disturb Liza tomorrow before noon as she will be resting after the ball. For breakfast, nothing but Rio and a bun with marmalade. Well, there we have it. Hmm. Don't know what Rio is. Every morning in the colonial store in warehouse number two, you can partake in a tasting of delicious Rio coffee imported from Brazil. It's a beverage recommended especially for those hard mornings after a sleepless night. Hmm. I think warehouse number two is probably up near where we were previously. So I might, uh, I might follow the clues for this one right now. Once the official performance is over, go to the back room. You'll find steps there leading to the host's apartment. At the door, give the password to hell with him. AK will give you a show Hello, like no other. Sweet secret. Alexander Kirchner is a comedian who likes to make fun of the Tsar. His shows are held in the evenings at the bar The Dive. Once the official show is over, the comedian holds a secret performance. Just go to the back room and give the password to hell with him at the entrance. That's an evening thing. Um, oh, yeah, we should probably do this one as well. Mirov, Mirov, port, port, port. Okay. Ooh, a couple of things. Blow our nose, there's something over here as well. 
Fireworks. Someone carried a fireworks crate this way in the evening. Hands carrying the heavy crate are shaking a little, and not just from the effort. Excitement makes them stronger. Just a little patience. One more night until these beauties can be seen in action in the sky. That'll be quite the spectacle. Another lead. Secrets. Not on my watch. A broken bottle of cheap porter. A blaze of colour is still flickering on the grass. The sight of so much the sight is so amazing it makes a bottle slip out of his hand and smash into pieces. The show was worth the lost drink, however. He's glad he came here and talked to the warehouse people, and he took that halinka with him. There have been firework displays near the warehouse lately. If you ask about the golden tiger there, you can see an exceptionally beautiful show in the night sky. Okay, so I think we've cleared up all the those ones now. Um so that seems like an evening thing. The tasting might not be. Uh, so we'll try that first. Oh, it's this way. Probably just going to take me to a bench, isn't it? Looks like it. Okay. What a day. Let's wait until... It must be afternoon now. Um, I'm going to do night. So let's kill some time. Because uh, that. Okay, so that's on the bench, but we've got one of the things right up here, so let's just do that. I'm not sure which one it is. Some people do grassroots work, and others recognize coups. Kirshner wields a different kind of weapon, and that one, and one that is no less sharp. Okay. Evening of satire. It's early morning now, so the tasting may be happening. Or it might just be yes. And depending on what time we come out of there, we might be able to go straight into the other one. Aha! Rio coffee. Uh, every morning in the Colonial Store in Warehouse Number 2, you can partake in a tang tasting of delicious Rio coffee imported from Brazil. It's a beverage recommended especially for those hard mornings after a sleepless night. Mm -hmm. Right, very nearly got another one. Uh, mid of Port Praga. Right, so we're going to do that. This might be best done in the evening. It's currently noon. Or is it suggesting I go? Probably just to the nearest waiting area. Or, or not. Maybe not. Oh, is there a... Uh, That's not what I expected. There another salutor here. The smell of evil suggestions and pure malice with a subtle hint of sulfur. I think I know who you are, Scamp. I bet a braggart just like you got your attention. I'll look for them before you lead them astray. Krampus, huh? Okay. We can have a look around here. Uh, but that might be a good thing to do next time. Yeah, let's get stuck into a meaty investigation next time and get another Salutor in, which should be kind of fun. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Thaumaturge. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game and the playthrough and the lore and the history. Anything you like, really. Just be great to hear your thoughts. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.